At the end of Tesla's 2021 AI Day last August, Elon Musk introduced a concept for Tesla bot, an electromechanically actuated, autonomous bipedal, general-purpose, humanoid robot. Musk suggested that a prototype of Tesla bot, also called Optimus, would be complete within the next year. After a lot of hype, a prototype of Tesla bot was indeed unveiled last night at Tesla's 2022 AI Day. And as it turns out, the hype was just that, hype. While there's absolutely nothing wrong with the humanoid robot that Musk very briefly demonstrated on stage, there's nothing uniquely right, either. We were hoping for, if not necessarily expecting, more from Tesla. And while the robot isn't exactly a disappointment, there's very little to suggest that it disrupts robotics the way that SpaceX did for rockets or Tesla did for electric cars. Setting expectations. These quotes are all from Musk. I do want to set some expectations with respect to our Optimus robot. Last year was just a person in a robot suit, but we've come a long way, and compared to that, it's going to be very impressive. It's far, far too late for Musk to be attempting to set reasonable expectations for this robot, or Tesla's robotics program in general. Most roboticists know better than to use humans when setting expectations for humanoid robots, because disappointment is inevitable. And trying to save it at the literal last minute by saying, compared to not having a robot at all, our robot will be very impressive, while true, is not going to fix things. I think there's some potential that what we're doing here at Tesla could make a meaningful contribution to AGI. Yeah, I'm not touching that. Right before the robot was brought on stage, one of the engineers made clear that this was going to be the first time that the robot would be walking untethered and unsupported. If true, that's bonkers, because why the heck would you wait until this moment to give that a try? I'm not particularly impressed, just confused. For some context on what you're about to see, a brief callback to a year ago last August, when I predicted what was in store for 2022. It's possible, even likely, that Tesla will build some sort of Tesla bot by sometime next year, as Musk says. I think that it won't look all that much like the concept images in this presentation. I think that it'll be able to stand up and perhaps walk. Maybe withstand a shove or two and do some basic object recognition and grasping. And I think after that, progress will be slow. But the hard part is not building a robot, it's getting that robot to do useful stuff, and I think Musk is way out of his depth here. I'm reminded of the 2015 DARPA Robotics Challenge, because many of the humanoid platforms look similar to the way Tesla bot looks. I guess there's only so much you can do with a mostly naked electromechanical humanoid in terms of form factor, but at first glance there's nothing particularly innovative or futuristic about Tesla's design. If anything, the robot's movement is not quite up to DRC standards, since it looks like it would have trouble with any kind of accidental contact or even a bit of non-level floor, and Musk suggested as much. On stage, the robot did very little. It walked successfully, but not very dynamically. The moves it made may well have been entirely scripted, so we don't know to what extent the robot can balance on its own. I'm glad it didn't fall on its face, but if it had, I wouldn't have been surprised or judged it too harshly. After the very brief live demo, Musk showed some video clips of the prototype robot doing other things. These clips included the robot walking while carrying a box of unspecified weight and placing it on a table, and grasping a watering can. The watering can was somewhat impressive, because gripping that narrow handle looks tricky. The robot can actually do a lot of more than we've just showed you. We just didn't want it to fall on its face, said Elon Musk. However, despite the added footage from the robot sensors we have no idea how this was actually done, whether it was autonomous or not, or how many tries it took to get right. There's also a clip of a robot picking an object and attempting to place it in a bin, but the video cuts right before the placement is successful. This makes me think that we're seeing carefully curated best-case scenarios for performance. That was our rough development robot, using semi-off-the-shelf actuators, but we've gone a step farther than that already. We actually have an Optimus bot with fully Tesla-designed actuators, battery pack, control system, everything, it wasn't quite ready to walk, but we wanted to show you something that's fairly close to what will go into production. This looks a bit more like the concept that Tesla showed last year, 
although obviously it's less functional than the other prototype we saw. It's tempting to project the capabilities of the first robot onto the second robot, but it would be premature to do so. Here you're seeing Optimus with the degrees of freedom that we expect to have in the Optimus production unit, which is the ability to move all the fingers independently and opposable thumbs, so that it's able to operate tools and do useful things, said Elon Musk. Just like last year, Musk is implying that the robot will be able to operate tools and do useful things because it has the necessary degrees of freedom. But of course the hardware is only the first step towards operating tools and doing useful things, and the software is, I would argue, much harder and far more time-consuming, and Tesla seems to have barely started work on that side of things. Our goal is to make a useful humanoid robot as quickly as possible. We've designed it using the same discipline that we use in designing the car, which is to design it for manufacturing, such that it's possible to make the robot at high volume with low cost and high reliability. That's incredibly important, Optimus is designed to be an extremely capable robot, but made in very high volume, ultimately millions of units. And it is expected to cost much less than a car, much less than $20,000 would be my guess. Said Elon Musk. I generally agree with Musk here, in that historically, humanoid robots were not designed for manufacturability. This is changing, however, and I think that other companies likely have a head start over Tesla in manufacturability now. But it's entirely possible that Tesla will be able to rapidly catch up if they're able to leverage all that car building expertise into robot building somehow. It's not a given that it'll work that way, but it's a good idea, potentially a big advantage.